with one mind, with one purpose, we will to glory Worship. 
worship God. As we get with one accord, we push back darkness because our praise and our worship affect the earth. Because I can guarantee you tonight, the angels in heaven are praising and worshiping God. Because that's what they do all night and day long. So now we're agreeing with heaven. That's what's already done in heaven is happening on earth. So as we praise and worship, it shouldn't be hard. Sing this song on Sunday. Yes. Yes. Lord, that song been in my spirit. Mm, Lord. Give me you. Oh, yes. Yes. Everything else can wait. You better do it, Julie. Hey, Lord. Yes, Give me Mama Julie. You. <laughs> I hope you, I hope I'm not too late. <laughs> in prison and been in prison since 2002. This is 2014. And I, for one, could say I should not have children. But I guarantee you, you have given probably everything else a chance. Give God a chance. In Nehemiah 18, it talks about the joy of the Lord is your strength. You need strength. You need comfort. Whatever you need, go to him. Give him a chance. Don't die. 
you on this level ground. He wants you to continue to go higher and higher. So when you think of it, step on it. Don't put it, because you put it behind you, you can always look back. But put it under your feet so you can step higher. And don't come down. Just continue to go higher. We're moving forward, but as we move forward, forward is up. It's not looking, I'm not looking back. I'm moving ahead. I'm declaring and decreeing. If you do what God says do, and you stand on his word, nothing, nothing shall by any means hurt you. Nothing shall by any means come against you and conquer you. But you have to stand on God's word. Stand on his promise. Don't waver. Don't give up. Because the second you give up, you're out, on, out from under the umbrella of protection. And God said it is a life or death situation. It is that serious. It is that serious. You want your marriage to work. It is that serious. You want your relationship with God to work. It is that serious. Put whatever it is, whatever vice you have, whether it's food, sweets, whatever, men, women, whatever it is, put it under your feet. And concentrate on what God has for you and everything else that he wants to allow into your life he will. And understand that if you don't have it, you don't need it yeah. in God. It's too much we're holding on to that we don't need. It's too many relationships and friendships that we're holding on to that we don't need. 
God said, put them under your feet. Don't worry about losing them as friends. Don't worry about hurting their feelings. Put it under your feet. Look back over my life. I've been through many things. The sins I've committed, God has wiped them clean. I've suffered many scars, hurt, and depression. My life I tried to end, but God was my protection. In the midst, I've lost my job, marriage, and direction. God gave me spirit with an intimate connection. Days have been weary, filled with a troubled mind. To myself, I wasn't worthy, yet to God, I'm still just fine. God gave me Holy Spirit with 24-hour security. I'm following his agenda for life eternity. I'd always give up feeling shattered, feeling broken. The pieces I threw away was God's golden token. My father always amazed me, giving me all I ever need. He you said to me, You silver jewelry to place upon my neck and wrist. You've paid the price of redemption. Given both wisdom and revelation over your word, you placed around me a blue belt, saying, guard your stomach from digesting poisonous instruments. Regurgitating false teaching and heresy, lest it misalign your insides and kill you. Never cease to make mention of this in your prayers. If I stay in your presence, you will remain supreme. You design me with chalk outlines of orange, representing your praise and warfare. And it's no wonder, because in spite of all my fancy clothes, my skin is still painted with the dusty brown color of man. So I am still just flesh. I'm just human. My heart's deceiving me into believing that my motives are always pure. When sometimes we are in search of affection, giving us accolades, stroke my ego, the world is tugging at my bones, God at my spirit, so my soul is conflicted, eating away at me, because all I ever wanted was to be pleasing. So I let my skin drip as ink, attempting to shed the wickedness I was born in. I write to escape the full-figured demons that attempt to promise me in my sleep. I write to combat every stereotype. I am in the fight of my life. The war between good and evil is only beginning. It's a good thing God gave me gold speckles upon my cheeks so every tear that comes is essentially just something to bring me closer to his glory. And let's never forget his crimson gift that painted the tabernacle and is now his blood atonement. It is his cleansing purification and covenant of grace. It makes my garments able to become unspotted and I'll become white as snow. Marking my triumph and victory, I'm finally walking in holiness. My body broken and molded into a temple, so now I house the Holy Spirit. There is no veil and no priest that speaks for me. I can go boldly. And there is only one mediator between God and man who goes to the Father for me, and he speaks very well of me because he sees me as I shall be. I fell in love with the man who is greater than anything. of spring Every creature unique in the song that it sings All exclaiming Indescribable Uncontainable You place the stars in the sky and you know them by name You are amazing We fall to our knees as we humbly proclaim You are amazing, God Who sees lightning bolts and tell them where they should go Laden with snow Who imagined the sun And gives source to its light Yet conceals it To bring us the coolness of night None can fathom Indescribable
see the depths of our hearts and you love us the same you are amazing God you are amazing God you are amazing God there's no one like you know so sweet to us. You're so loyal. You're so faithful. You should have given up on us, but you, you still love us, oh God. You are amazing, God. You've seen us messed up over and over again. Each and every individual. We've turned our backs to you. But you still loved us the same. As if we were only born again. You loved us while we were in our mess and while we turned our backs on you. That's why you are amazing, Dio. You're worthy, oh God. You are the Lion of Judah. You are the Alpha and Omega. to express how good you are, how big you are. You are amazing, God. I'm going to sing it one more time. Incomparable, unchangeable, you see the depths of our hearts and you love us the same. And God, we thank you today, Lord, as you repair our hearts and our minds to come into your presence, come into a new year. God, we thank you for 2014 that's coming on its way. God, we lift you up right now, God. We thank you for the victory, God. We thank you for the glory, God. God, we thank you for calming us, oh God, in the right mind, God. God, as we prepare ourselves tonight, we're going to rejoice in your glory. We're going to rejoice in your power. We're going Rejoice because you are God all by yourself. And we are your hands. We are your feet. And the blind receive sight. Yes. The lame walk. Yes. Those who have leprosy are cleansed. The deaf hear. Yes. The dead are raised. Mm. And the good news is proclaimed to the poor. Bless anyone who does not stumble account of me. Oh my God. He's a healer, y'all. Yes. He's a healer. Yes. He came to my house. Yes. My God. I'm just a witness. Yes. I'm just a witness how he came to my house. Yes. And he started with me. Oh, yes. He said, I said, God, heal my family. God said, I'm going to start with you. I'm going to start with the hand. He said, the only thing you have to do is believe. Yes. And I'm going to start with you. He's a healer, y'all. It says it right here. In regards to what you go going through your situation, he will heal you. Thank you, Lord. All you do is thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Came to Paul. Paul was sitting. Matter of fact, they didn't know what Paul was. Paul was just sitting pretty much, and he just got to the point where he wasn't in it about anything. He just said, thank you, Lord. Thank you just for being here. Thank you just for being alive. In regards to what my circumstances is, thank you, Lord, for just being alive. In regards to what they say about me, thank you. In regards to what you say about me, thank you. Thank you, Lord, because how I feel, how I look. In regards to what I said to everyone. Situation. Hopeless situation. Now you have a story. Mm. 
the angels can't sing. Angels can't sing in glory. You're redeemed. You're redeemed from the hand of the enemy. Yeah. Here we go. I didn't say that. I said, I'm not going back. Right. I didn't say it wasn't nothing to go back to, but I'm not going back to it. Right. And I'm determined yeah. with everything within me to continue what, what Apostle Ernest said, to continue to keep stepping right. and step on everything that thinks it's defeating. Fear for this. Uh -huh. and it's the prisoners heard this. Right. So let me know as they prayed and as they sang praises unto them that they were intimate with, the one that they knew, the one that heard their heartbeat, said the prisoners heard them. How many of y'all left some prisoners at home? How, how, many, how many know some prisoners? I ain't just talking about physical prisons, but some people in spiritual prisons. And it said, and the prisoners heard them. And verse 26 said, and suddenly there was a 
great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. How many know y'all as we begin to continue to pray and sing praises, how many know the foundations of some of your loved ones' cells are going to be shaken? Some of y'all got loved ones that we've been praying for, we've been asking God to pull them out, we've been asking God to deliver them, we've been asking God to repair them, to restore them, but how many believe your praise is that powerful? How many believe that your prayer is that powerful? When you just begin to cry out to God, come on, let's do it right now. Father, we thank you. Come on, open your mouth all over this building. Father, I thank you. Come on, let God hear your voice. I thank you, God. I praise you, God. I magnify you. I give you glory. I give you honor, oh God, for you are the great king. You are strong and mighty. Lord, I bless you. Come on, let him hear you. Let him hear you. Let him hear you.
the midst. God, we thank you for what, we, what you're doing. We thank you for what you're doing. Somebody ought to praise God for what he's doing. Come on, we can do better than that. Because we're already in the blessing.
You can tell them I was at a Holy Ghost party. 